thing I'll I'll I'll, exp- I'll I'll put on the whiteboard. I'll show you exactly how I had my life structured to give you just an idea how do I was going to uh, get myself to the next level. All right, so let me just show you how uh, I was living my life. So let's do okay Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay? So we'll break this down into a.m. and p.m., okay? So Sunday, I worked at uh, Sesame Street, okay? And I worked from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. I would go home, hit the gym around. I, would, I used to work an hour away, so it would take me an hour to get home. So I would hit the gym around 8 p.m., cook, shower, shave, be done by like 10 p.m. and then chill, relax, whatever, and then go to bed at midnight. Monday, I would wake up at 6 a.m. because I had to be at the elementary school at 8 a.m. Also took me an hour on the train to get there. School started at 8.20. So sometimes I wouldn't have a full day. Um, I was based upon my contract. I was supposed to stay there till till five p.m., but that's just not going to happen. I was just like I bounced out every time. I'm a really good teacher, and I know how to make Japanese people like me, and I know how to play the game really well. And so I just left, you know, low key. Didn't tell them. One time they asked me not to leave. I was like, yeah, 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 no problem. And I kept leaving. Um, and I just knew that they needed me, and that it'd be really hard to replace me. So they're just like, oh, Shogun, I, you know, we'll just let this guy leave early. So. I would leave, uh, some days I would leave at 12 p.m. if I was lucky. Um, and then other days, so every day, Monday to Friday, Monday to uh, Wednesday, it was 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, I remember Tuesday, I remember Wednesdays I worked until like 2 p.m. I think this this is also like a 1 p.m. day. Thursday definitely was 12 p.m. day. And then I think, actually, you know, I think Fridays I didn't have to work on uh, at the elementary school. Fridays I had off. Um, this was in 2018, so it was a little bit ago, so I kind of forgot. Um, so, and then Monday... Wednesday and Thursday, I worked at Sesame Street. So it would take me one hour to get home. So I'd get home like, you know, 1 p.m. And then I would be able to chill out. And then from 4 p.m., okay, to 8 p.m., I would work at Sesame Street. So I had two jobs. If you're if you're trying to get ahead in life and you're working one job, LOL, bro. LOL. I don't care if you make six figures. If you're only working one job, LOL, bro. But that you should just put like, I am Johnny P, go fuck myself. And I'll that they put M D at the end, you should just put LOL. Okay. At the end of your life, at the end of your shit. And then uh Friday, uh, I definitely remember working that on Fridays. I would also work on Fridays, uh Sesame Street from like three PM. I got off early on that one. That was the 7 p.m. Okay. So I would be doing that, right? And then to top it off on Saturdays, everybody gets to sleep in, not me, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Your boy was working. 
working like a slave, working my ass off, guys. Okay. So this was just to accumulate cash. I would try to squeeze in gym after work. Someday I wouldn't go to the gym uh, five, six days a week because I just quite frankly didn't have the luxury of the time to do it. Right. And then, uh, especially in um, January, this was 2018. Right. And then I would do like shit at night for YouTube or whatever, very half us. But this is what I was doing just to like get ahead, save up cash. Right. Um, and then starting January, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. was YouTube live stream. Okay. And then sometimes people would book consultations and then from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. I would do consultations. I was running on virtually no sleep this time. I don't even know how the fuck I did it. Okay. So this is how I got to where I am now. Okay. So for uh, Cult of Black Phillip, I know you're still watching. Thanks so much. Uh, I guarantee you're not working as hard as me right now, and, and neither are you working as hard as I was before, okay? This is what it takes to get the wheels off the ground. And during this time, when I was, ri when I was uh, riding the train, I had an hour train ride, right? I would be uh, listening to books and taking notes. When I lived in, when I was doing this in America, I, I don't listen to music as much as uh, the average person. I just actually l consistently listen to audiobooks. Right now, I'm uh, listening to "Be Obsessed or Be Average" by. Wait, is that the name of the book? Let me see. Yeah, I'm listening to "Be Obsessed or Be Average" right now by Grant Cardone. Really good book, man. Really, 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 really good book. And, um, you know, life changing book to be honest with you. And so um, this whole time, I was just grinding on myself, working, okay? It's, like, not easy. Everybody just thinks, like, oh, I'm old, just became a superstar overnight. Burr, 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 burr. Take a screenshot of that right there so you could save it for later. Screenshot it. It's going down in five, four, three, two, one. 